I listen to y'all. I listen to your comments down below and I, I listen to what you guys want to see. And I realize, hey, I understand. This is interesting. If this works, this will be epic. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. It is 6.39 a.m. And I woke up about 20 minutes ago. I was not going to make a video today. I wasn't going to hunt today. But after yesterday's video, a lot of you were like, Bobby, you got to either do the one decoy challenge, the no decoy challenge, the no blind challenge. So today what we're doing, I found a little goose feed yesterday. We're going to try the no blind one decoy challenge. I brought one goose decoy, no blind, no Fred. I'm sorry. I, I don't want Fred breaking and running out and scaring the geese. If we do have some around us, I don't want them scaring them away. So bare minimum today i got my camos on i got my shotgun i got my cameras uh, and one decoy yeah but it is pretty chilly out today it's sitting right at 20 degrees i'll tell you what in this cold weather y'all not only all the ducks thermal gear the thermal sweats the thermal hoodies but that wax canvas hat it's a full back hat and let me tell you what it is warm i will link it down in the description below if y'all want to check it out as well as all the other cold gear products at duckswaterfowl.com. It'll all be linked down below. Go pick up something. It helps support the channel. It helps me bring you guys more of these videos, just like this one. But we're gonna get to the field here. Running a little late. It's already after shooting light, 6.41, uh, but the birds take about 25, 30 minutes to get up. So we're gonna get to the field. I'm gonna park where I need to be, unload my stuff, and put up our one decoy. <laughs> and sit and wait well we are out here got my one decoy set up boy howdy it's a beautiful morning out here though but here is our one decoy stuck us a full body about i don't know 15 yards away from the edge of the corn this is cut beans butted up against cut corn so we're gonna see how we do we're gonna lay down back in the tall corn never know right <laughs> i'm crazy for doing this i'm serious if you guys have any type of comments about how nutty I am in the head, just go ahead and drop it down below because I won't be offended by it. I have to agree, I'm a little, a little loopy in the head today for this one. I listen to y'all. I listen to your comments down below and I, I listen to what you guys wanna see. And I realize, hey, I understand. This is interesting. If this works, this'll be epic. <sighs> I just ran my butt off. Birds are up early. We were out here, we we're laying down on the ground trying to uh, get as low profile as possible. <sighs> this is fun. Just trying something different, you know what I mean? We don't have out 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dozen decoys. The bare minimum, just bare minimum. Missed that one, Bob. Good shot, bud. Well, we got a big volley of birds coming. That's all right. Just telling you, this could get wild with only one decoy. There's a lot of birds in the area. If there was any bird I could shoot today, though, it'd be a snow goose. I still have not downed a snow goose this season. Well, here they are, boys. Let's enjoy the show. This is the first small group. We can get them close enough. You know what your boy's gonna do. We gonna shoot. <laughs> Give him a little bit of spec calling. Key today is just don't move. One thing I do know, I'd like to get some shots off before hundreds and hundreds get here though. I like to get a bird on, on the ground before the big wad shows up. They do not know what to think about the one decoy. I don't think they see me at all. I'm down in the shadow of the tall stuff here. They can't see me. They're just wigged out about the one decoy. They're like, what the heck? Come on back. Come on. Come on, this single right here likes it. Mm -hmm. 
These birds are just wanting to bat their wings here. They're all showing up though. Boy howdy, look at them coming. <laughs> this is a good field. Come on. Oh boy. This is kind of what they do right here. They come over the top just like that, stall up, and don't do nothing else if we got a lot of snows. Come on, get down, snows. Give it up. Ooh, mallards. Oh boy. Uh, I think they've landed in the field twice. They just keep flying. I'm wondering if the no decoy challenge would have been better than just one. Uh, what I'm finding out here watching these birds is they'll kind of come to the one decoy and then they'll just go around it. They don't flare, they just don't love it. You know what I mean? They're, they look at it, you can tell they want to look at it. And after they're done looking at it, they're done. They're like, yeah, I don't really like it. And so they're scanning the rest of the field trying to find a place to hide. But I think the one decoy, I don't know if it's freaking them out. Um, I'm doing very, very mild calling, if any, not any calling at all. And, um, I think they're just kind of freaked out. They're like, why is that goose down there? And none of us are. So I think it's just early, early AM. They're wanting to beat their wings. Once they beat their wings a little bit, they just woke up. You know, it's, it's like going on your morning jog. You know what I mean? Beat your wings, get a little worn out. You're ready to eat. You sit down, have breakfast. So what I'm getting at is hopefully we shoot one here in just a little bit. <laughs> well, the battery's going dead on the GoPro. I didn't get to charge it all. Here comes a ton of geese and I mean a ton nothing's really liked it I could have shot a speck about two minutes ago I didn't have the camera on though holy cow this is wild look at all these birds Oh, got him! Nice! Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo. We are not skunked today, boys. Yes! First bird down, finally. That is a young speck. That is what that is right there. Hope I got the camera on. I did. <laughs> Woo! We got us a young speck down. I don't think he has any bars on his belly. He's right over here somewheres. Well, one thing I found out today, I've been laying here for every bit of 30, 40 minutes watching birds go over me. And I think I would have had a lot more luck if I just would have left the decoy at home and just did a no decoy challenge. I'm serious. Would have had a lot more luck, actually. They don't like the one decoy. Like, they're just shy of it. They don't know what to think about it. They just don't like it. Simple as that. Where's my bird? This is when I need Fred. Dad gummit, where'd it go? 
Well, I'm having trouble finding my bird. It is hard finding birds in this. It's tough. I'm gonna have to go get Fred. He's gonna have to use his nose to find him. I cannot find that bird. He should be right here somewhere and no idea. I've scoured this area. I've probably walked by him. I don't know how many times I had my eye on him. No idea where he went now. I want to snow. Oh, got him. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. There we go. We got a snow, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I came for right there. Yes. Woo. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I came for, baby. That is a Rossi. That's a good looking little Rossi too. Look at him. Wow, he's beautiful. Pretty sure I'm gonna get him mounted. He is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the little beak on him. Yes! Woo! Well, that's worth it. A Little bit of pass shooting never hurt anybody, right? If you like that, you got to hit the thumbs up button. That's the first snow down for the 2019 season, y'all. Woo! And the GoPro is about to die. Finally got it done. And I told y'all, I was like, hey, if I can get one bird down today, I want it to be a snow. No, it wasn't directly over the one decoy, but you know what? We made it happen. But please, if you guys like these videos, I know. I didn't decoy it right on the one decoy. It came over the top of it, you know. But we got us a snow down. That's all I care about. Oh, well, all loaded up. That was real hard. Let me tell you, one decoy took forever to load up, guys. Uh, so a little recap of today. First off, what's really nice is that I'm out of the field by 8.30 without having to sweat or work my butt off. Uh, we got a good show today, though. The beginning of the video you guys seen a big show lots of birds showed lots of birds worked no birds decoyed pretty much i could have took some low shots uh but if i was going to shoot anything it was going to be a snow goose now i'm actually really surprised i got one down because i didn't see near as many today as i did yesterday so being picky paid off but it almost bit me in the butt but like I said earlier, I think uh, we would have had better luck just hiding in this field without a decoy. Um, the one decoy, they were weary of it. They're like, why is that there? Uh, at times, the one decoy was making too much noise. That would be me calling. At other times, the decoy wasn't making any noise at all. So, what do you do? Come on, Fred. Hi, buddy. Well, it's the next day. Poor old Freddy didn't get to go on that hunt. I'm sorry, man. Now, I did take Fred back. We found the speck. Uh, I went to the general vicinity where I thought it was, literally put his nose down and he found it. Here, Fred. Fred is shaping up to be an amazing dog. I'm so proud of him. But now that we're back in the shop here, I wanna show you guys something. That Rossi Snow Goose, I told y'all. I was like, that's a good looking one. I really wanna get it mounted. I have yet to mount a snow goose and to have a nice mature boarded up good looking little Rossi. I'm like, you know what? We got to do it. So I wanted to show you guys here how I uh, prepare my birds for taxidermy. A lot of you seen the mallard that I got mounted last year from Canada and now this Rossi snow goose. But here it is. You tuck the head underneath the wing. That's the belly side of it. But you tuck the head underneath the wing and then you put it in a nice plastic trash bag and then you wrap it up with tape. You don't have to wrap it tight. It doesn't have to be really tight, but it needs to be sealed off from air. And then you need to put it in your freezer for a while and let it completely freeze. Now my taxidermist is not local. So that means I have to ship him my birds. If you guys are ever gonna ship a bird for taxidermy, do this. Then get you a nice little cardboard box like this one. Look at that, fits perfectly in there. Now I'll get a bunch of newspaper and I'll pack on top of it, underneath it, all around it real tight. 
and that newspaper is going to act as insulation and keep it nice and froze. Now, if you ship a bird, make sure he's completely frozen up. Make sure he's been in the freezer for a week or two at minimum and ship it priority two day shipping on a Monday. Now, the reason you're going to ship on a Monday is because you're giving it less of a chance of that bird sitting in the mail hall somewhere or in a mail truck somewhere over the two day weekend. So those are my tips for uh, shipping your bird and a little bit of taxidermy tips. But when I get this bird back, I will show y'all and make a video. You better bet. Cause I'm excited to finally have a mounted snow goose, darn it. Are you excited, Fred? I think you're just mad at me because you didn't get to go hunting today. Is that right? Huh? Huh? But you guys be looking out for more hunts. We've already done a handful more and Fred is in each and every one of them. Let me know your video ideas down below. It doesn't necessarily have to be a challenge video like this one. I mean, if you guys want a challenge video, let me know what you want to see down below in the comments. But any type of video, I don't care what it is, let me know down below. What do you guys want me to do? Be sure you subscribe, guys, and hit that little notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. And if you haven't checked out that Cup Ducks hat from duckswaterfowl.com, and those new performance hoodies from Ducks. I will link both of these items down in the description below. Whenever you guys purchase something from Ducks, it goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos. Oh, look at this guy. He's just going to get comfy, huh? What a baby. Oh, you're a, Fred a baby. Huh, Frederick? Huh? Yeah, you're a big baby. But until next time, guys.